this is how you're gonna be able to unlock all the camos in Mario 3 and the mastery camos unlocked with it that being multiplayer and also zombies since they've added zombie camos as well and they've changed some things up compared to the previous color duty making some challenges easier and also harder this is a very simple guide and i'll make this video as short as possible to not waste any time so for the Mario 2 camos you will be able to lock them in Mario 3 and they're gonna be exact same challenges as before so nothing's changed with them, which is nice. A thing to note is all camos will be able to be used on the new Mario 3 weapons, unless it's the mastery camos for them. So any event camos or raid camos will actually be able to be used, but not the Orion and Polyatomic camos. So if you're excited to be playing Mario 3 and unlocking more camos for the grind, leave a like on this video right now and let's get into it. Now for the Mario 3 multiplayer camos, we have the Gilded, which is the gold for the game. And the way to unlock this will you have to complete the base camo challenges for the weapon class which is normal but the next requirement is different where you now you have to complete an individual gilded challenge tailored to the specific weapon and they give us an example for just assault rifles and this is more challenging than before because last time you just needed to get three kills without dying now you have to do that but with one magazine and not all weapon classes will be the same because that's just impossible with a rocket launcher or a knife, obviously. The next completionist camo is the Forge, which is like the Platinum, and the requirement for this one is to complete the Gilded camo for the weapon category. Then you will have to get a new challenge dedicated to that weapon, which is to get three kills without dying 10 times, which is even easier than the previous challenge, and it's so much better than last year where you had to get long shots. Moving on though, we have Priceless, which is animated and looks so good, and this is the Polyatomic basically. And this is where things get a little bit more difficult, because in order to unlock this, you will need to get the previous 37 weapons, the Forge Camo, and then the challenge actually begins. And the example we have here is to get 5 kills without dying 10 times, which is not currently too bad. And we got the Interstellar Camo for Moxie Player, which is the Orion, and all you need to do is to get a whopping total of 37 Priceless Camo challenges done, for Modern War 3 weapons, next all, not too much compared to what it was before. We had to get 51 guns done, and before we get to the zombie camos, I want to know out of the list of multiplayer camos, which is your favorite, comment down below. Mine has to be the price list. Now, onto the zombie master camos, you will actually be able to unlock both Modern War 2 and also Modern War 3 weapon camos. Though completely different from one another, to start the list off, we will begin with Modern War 2, which is the Golden Ivory. And to get this, you will need to complete all four zombie base camo challenges for this specific weapon. They give us a challenge to use for example, which is going to be usually to get a certain amount of zombie kills, and you have to successfully extract with the weapon in a single deployment. So hopefully that's not too difficult, and once you get that done, you will now be on your way to the Spinal Husk Challenge, which you will need to complete the Golden Ivory camo challenges for the weapon category. Once you get that done, the challenge will be usually to get a certain number of zombie kills with the weapon while wow, it's packed point, so that one doesn't seem too bad. Now, if we make our way to the Arachnida camo, things become a little more challenging where now you have to complete a total of 51 Spinal Husk camo challenges, though with the Modern for 2 weapons. Once that's done, you will have the challenge unlocked and have to usually get so many special early zombie kills with the weapon, so you will have to make your way to more of the challenging zones. And the next zombie camo for Mario 2 will be the Bioluminescent. And all you need to do is to unlock the Arachnid camo on 51 weapons. And you will receive the Master Camo and Zombies. There's no challenges that are specific to that. Just have to unlock the Arachnid for all the weapons or 51 of the weapons. Then we have the Modern 3 Zombie Mastery Camos, which will be Golden Enigma. And the way to get the challenge will be you have to unlock all the zombie base camo challenges just like before. And after that, you will need to get so many zombie kills and successfully extract with the weapon in a single deployment. From there, once you got the Golden Enigma for all the weapons in a weapon category, you can now move on to the next Mastery Camo, which is the Zircon Scale. And this one, you will need to get a pack punch weapon and get so many kills with it. Once you have the 37 of the Zircon skill Master Camos unlocked, you can make your way to the Serpent Knight Camo. And that one will require you to get so many of the special elite zombie kills along with it. And once you've done the Zircon skill for 37 weapons, you will finally have the final Master Camo for the Mario 3 zombies, which is Borealis. I will be making a full guide on the easiest and also the fastest way to do these challenges on every single weapon class. So make sure to subscribe for that. Also, if you are confused on what is and what is not transferring, over to Mario 3 from the previous Call of Duty. Check this video out here to see everything that is transferring over. 